Hello, my name is Becky Vanderpool. I'm the Senior Manager of Park Connections with the Metro Parks of Butler County. Today I'm at the Forest Run Timberman Ridge area and I'm going to go for a walk in the rain. Who thinks about going to the park on a pretty sunny day? But really, how many of us think about going to the park on a rainy day? That's what I'm going to do. Come with me. The Timberman Ridge area of Forest Run Metro Park features a 1.4 mile paved walking path called Timberman Ridge Trail. You can access the trail from the parking lot located on Timberman Road in Hamilton. The trail can also be accessed from a parking lot at just about the other side of the circle, just off of Warble Road, also in Hamilton. There's plenty of parking in both places to come out and enjoy the parks. I noticed today that I'm not wearing a mask, or on my face at least. I do have it here ready to pull up. I'm choosing not to wear it at the moment just so that you can understand me better, but mostly because I'm out in the park literally by myself. I haven't seen a single person today. If I do encounter someone along the trail, I'll certainly pull my mask up and cover my face and do the best I can to protect myself and to protect others, as well as still hope that you can hear and understand me. Today I'm gonna to take a walk on this trail in the rain and share with you some of the things that I'm observing while I'm outside on a not so picture perfect day, but certainly a day that we have to enjoy the nature and learn different things by being outside in different types of weather. I'm gonna use my senses just to observe what is out here today. The first thing I notice are these yellow wildflowers. They're very pretty yellow. I'm also using my eyes and my sense, of, my sense of sight to notice just how green everything looks. Somehow I think a rainy day certainly just makes everything just green up, even though just a little bit more than it was yesterday, maybe. The next of my senses I'm using today is my, sight, is my sense of sound or sense of hearing. And what I'm hearing are birds chirping. Can you hear them? Today, a unique sound, of course, that I'm hearing in the park is the sound of the rain hitting my hood and my footsteps as I stomp in a puddle. Another one of our senses that I'm experiencing today is, of course, a sense of touch. The first sense of touch that comes to my mind as I walk, take my walk today is that of water and the rain that's touching my hands. It's chilly, a little bit on the cool side, but not raining too hard. Another sense of touch is as I touch with my hand this clover here on the ground. It's also wet, of course, but a little bit silky and smooth. What do we do with our noses? A sense of smell. There's obviously, many of us can recognize the sense that rain's coming or that we've had a recent fresh rain and I'm smelling just that, the sense of smell. The last of our five senses is of course the sense of touch or sense of taste. I'm not gonna use that sense while I'm actually in the park today but what are some examples of things that you could bring with you on your next hike at the park? Your snack for along the trail, something to keep you nourished, a beverage perhaps of a cold water or juice, something to keep you hydrated. Those would both have flavors, of course, so you would have a, you'd be using your sense of taste when you use those. Have you visited this trail before? Come on out and observe it in different seasons, different types of weather, and share with us your comments. Have a good afternoon. The last of our five main senses, of course, is the sense of taste. I'm not gonna taste anything that's out in the park here today, but as you plan your next hike to the park, 
think about what snack you might bring or drink you might bring to stay new, stay full and hydrated on your walk. Those things would of course have a sense of taste. Would you have trail mix, nuts and saltiness, maybe some chocolate, raisins, all of those things of course would be something you could use to experience your sense of taste while out here on the trail at Timberman Ridge. Thanks for walking with me today. I hope you'll come out and visit Timberman Ridge. Share with us what you think. What are your favorite parts of the trail in the park? And what did you observe on a rainy day? Perhaps that you also then observed different signs on a sunny day. Use trails like this and some of the other activities that we'll be sharing on this page for ideas on logging off, shutting down, and getting outside. Join us on Monday when Laura Askell, our farm manager from the Chris Holm Historic Farmstead in Trenton, Ohio, will be introducing you to the two pygmy goats that call the farm home. Thanks, have a good day.